so uh, this is one of the very first module that you will be developing uh, in this uh, structured coursework so this is uh, the basic module to calculate actual element stiffness matrix so in matlab uh, as we were discussing in the yesterday session in our introduction to matlab we might uh, need to be consistent with our variable names and follow the proper syntax for functions in matlab so when we want to use the current module to develop uh, actual element stiffness matrix to the global or like we want to do it loop it over the n number of elements in the uh, to next week session or the next uh, session of this class we might need we don't have to reiterate or repeat the same script again and again uh, so that's one of the advantage that we were discussing as uh, why we should stick to matlab functions instead of matlab scripts so we will be developing one of the function today to calculate actual element stiffness matrix that we computed by applying unit displacement at node u2 so uh, i have calculated the function i have with this functions with four different input parameters so the input parameters to this function is going to be the degree of freedom which is the concept that we discussed earlier this class and the node vector node vector is something that uh, we always need to input uh, for the structure that we are going to analyze and then the material properties so this is uh, the basic assumption so when we are uh, intending or to analyze the material we need to be aware of their material properties like the angst modulus of elasticity and area of cross section that you want to provide to the member so these are the basic inputs that you will be receiving uh, as input for this function and for example if you want me to uh, you can go back and uh, look at the force matrix what we were doing here is uh, we are multiplying the product of angst modulus of elasticity to the area divided by the length of the member times the horizontal cos phi component and the vertical sin phi component of the element so uh, what you might be wondering is why we are uh receiving the node vector as a input so node vector as such is used to calculate the length of the element uh, which varies based on the coordinates that you input so based on this and using the formula that we developed we are going to calculate the stiffness matrix in matlab and uh, i can solve this equation for you here i'm uh, the number of degrees of freedom that we are considering for this case is 4 and let's say we are analyzing two node structure because we are just uh, developing this matrix for one element at this point of time let's uh, say that the element is 100 meter or 100 feet in length and then i am assuming ings modulus of elasticity as 2 uh, into 10 power 5 newton per mm square and then i would assign a uh, area of cross section as 1000 mm square to the member if i want to calculate the stiffness matrix for this element instead of uh, doing it manually instead of like calculating the orientation we can use matlab to arrive at the stiffness term for us and in case if you want to uh, uh, repeat the same for Uh, a structure that is not horizontal yeah so we can generalize the analysis procedure so we don't have to in case like if you have two different structures you don't have to repeat the same method you don't have to write script again and again in matlab the purpose of this course is to enable you to develop these functions so that you can uh, save them and then in case you want to like repeat or for a new structure all you have to do is input these parameters to this function and then you are going to receive an output let's uh, define another example where in case we have to uh, do the looping process over the n number of elements for the element stiffness matrix so as you can see this example we have pin and roller support structure and we are uh, like similar to the tension pulley ropes that we were discussing as an example in yesterday's session 
and then we are applying a force along the length of one uh, rope and then we are interested in calculating displacement at the intersection of members one and two so when we are interested in calculating the global for example when we looked at the element level we have four uh, degrees of freedom and then when we are looking at the global level as a, a number of two structures the number of uh, degrees of freedom can go down or we can cut down some of the redundancies which we are not interested in so what we need to do is we need to concatenate the element stiffness matrix of element one and element two to arrive at the global stiffness equations so which is a topic that we are interested in proceeding in the next week uh, wherein we will be learning how to concatenate uh, element stiffness matrix of first element to the nth element and then what are the degrees of freedom that we can tend to slightly ignore because when we have a four like for example if you have a four by four matrix and we want to uh, solve it it's going to become slightly complex when we are doing it by hand so what we are going to learn in the next class is what are the kind of degrees of freedom we can ignore when we look at a structure and then we can make it simpler to a two degree of freedom structure or a one degree of freedom and then so that we can just use it for solving the redundant forces.